space because I've been <laughs> I have a lot of stuff on here. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope so. All the doujins just went out. Oh my gosh, you all this misconception, bro. You're gonna calling me thirty, saying I have crushes on VTubers and stuff. Like, <laughs> hey, 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 that one is true. That oh, is true. Bro, I'm I'm not thirty. <laughs> I'm not thirty. Okay, not that one. I'm thinking about the VTuber one. The v, no, I don't have a crush on any VTubers, bro. <laughs> okay. Okay, what? <laughs> anyways, anyways, yeah. Oh, spe speaking of that, I have to. You're into VTubers, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, lot. You know, I don't even mind if this makes the final cut. You can just keep it in there. <laughs> but nah, I mean, I I, I watch them sometimes, but it's mm. uh, it's cool, you know. But I don't I don't have a. <laughs> I'm not not like this lot guy lion says, bro. Hey man, listen. Hey, listen. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> listen, listen, what you're gonna say? You're gonna say, oh, every everybody has their thing that <laughs> that they like, but you know. I should. I could, never mind. Like, um, <laughs> we did, we did the um the hinter tier list, and you put some weird ones there. Oh my gosh! Bro. Oh yeah, <laughs> I totally remember that. <laughs> I man, totally remember that. <laughs> this man loves instigating, bro. Okay, Euphoria. <laughs> bro. Yeah. This man. Okay, that was a joke. I, I did it because what you call it? Okay, here's the story. I've told this already, so I'm just gonna tell it again. All right. Continue. So, <laughs> Talk about your shame. Oh my god, it's not my shame, but okay. So I had this friend, and okay, before I start, I want to ask Power Analysis. Do you <laughs> do you know what Euphoria is, so I can explain myself properly? You mean the TV show? No, not no, the no, TV no. show. Oh. No, that the hentai video game. Oh, my oh gosh. no, no, I have no <laughs> clue what that is. Oh. Do, you, do you know Bible Black? Oh my gosh! No, no. Wow. Oh, wow. Thankfully, okay. thankfully, stay stay away from those two. <laughs> okay. Stay away from those two. But basically, my situation is we. This man, Lion. I want. I want to. I want to preface this by saying that Lion was the one that brought this whole tier list idea up in the first place. So, uh -huh. that's all him. Okay, very but <laughs> okay, what? it's true. But um, I mean, a good, a good thing about it was when I said, "A, hey, if we get twenty five subs, we'll do it." <laughs> I mean, for some reason, we actually got the goal. Yeah, exactly. I was like, "Wow, yeah. that was surprising." Yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah. So basically, they tried to make it a little harder, and they were like, "Okay, so if we get." Uh, like 25 or 30 subs and 15 likes on the video uh, then mm -hmm. we'll do the tier list and then we actually hit the goal and so we all had to find like three like hentai and like put it on a tier list mm -hmm. basically and I'd already watched two but it wasn't like on my own terms <laughs> so basically the first one I was in middle school and then some guy uh, that I was friends with at the time just sent me something <laughs> in Google Drive and I'm like what wow. is this oh, right, right. <laughs> yeah and basically he's like just watch it just watch it and I'm like okay and <laughs> that was the uh, the hentai version of uh, the game what was it called Euphoria that he sent me and it's I, I don't even want to explain it but it's pretty uh, pretty rough it's um I, I don't even know what the genre is I'd say it's like uh, it's like uh, dark <laughs> kind of like weird like any weird somewhere yeah, yeah any weird uh extreme fetish you can think about that's basically yeah. what it is <laughs> yeah the, the game the game is worse from what i know but uh -huh. i was basically like watch that without my knowing and afterwards like i was so mad at him i was like bro why do you make why do you make me just watch this <laughs> randomly and then the whole bible black thing i never actually watched it but i've seen like there's funny clips from the dub and that's why i decided to put that for one of my picks so i don't actually have like just weird taste it's just that Wait, there was those... a dub for that yeah yeah that's the whole I, that i said that's the whole reason i put it on there like the dub was like extremely funny like i, I probably no, can't I too focused yeah <laughs> okay that, that uh, honestly that, to be honest that's a big surprise that so like that got a dub because <laughs> then di 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 didn't work they dubbed interspecies reviewers and then they canned it because we'll, we'll be honest that, that that one's a little bit more tamer than <laughs> euphoria so the fact yeah. that euphoria got a dub is oh, very no, surprising no not euphoria bible black uh is the one oh. that got the dub yeah well, so that that is still <laughs> like very surprising yeah, yeah. Uh, if i could if i could quote the actual like dub 
like some lines from the dub oh man <laughs> like that it, it is so <laughs> hilarious that's literally the only reason i put it on there just because the dub was funny but i mean i, I say if you can remember the lines <laughs> i think you paid too much attention <laughs> i can't remember the line. there's one line i can remember <laughs> and it's it's hilarious but i can't say it because uh demonetization so uh, I mean, we're about 12 <laughs> minutes into the video. I don't think YouTube will watch this far. True, I mean, I, I'm also, I'm also like very, uh, how, how do I put this? I'm very uh, uh, PG-13, or not PG, I'm, I'm rated E for everyone. So I can't, you know, I can't say, <laughs> actually say the line. But uh, I mean, the only one that, that does risky stories. Wait, so what, what you, you guys can't swear on this podcast? No. no, we you, no. Yeah, you, you're free you to swear. It's just, we don't. Yeah, I, I usually I do. don't. You know. Yeah, you do all the time. I don't. You do all the I time. I don't usually. You know. Like, I'm literally the only one that, like, says risky shit. <laughs> you guys are like, no, yeah. don't take it. Yeah. I'm, well, I'm, I mean, like, his, you should hear his Christmas stories. He once got drunk and stole a light. Like, <laughs> stole a light. Stole a light. From a church. Yeah, <laughs> from a chur oh, yeah this guy yeah, is like. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. That's well, some next level stuff. <laughs> but it's like. <laughs> It was Christmas stories. It happened in Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm telling that, that I, I think it made it worse when it was the church on Christmas, man. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like I'm telling this story and like Tinsa is like what you said, like a dog chased you, what was it? it was oh like, yeah, it was like a dog. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. It was basically we were all outside or something and like there was this dog and you know how they say oh yeah the quiet people notice like things before anybody else i was quiet and like <laughs> i saw a dog like it was like a i don't know what it was like a pit bull or whatever but it, it wasn't doing anything at the uh -huh. time so i was just like oh yeah uh i'll just i'll just not say anything and then it walks around the corner and starts growling <laughs> and then like there's like no less than like 20 people in the yard and they all just run into the house it, it was hilarious but mm. <laughs> yeah pretty pretty crazy but uh, that does have me curious. Do you have any like uh, crazy stories, uh, life stories, power analysis? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be like lion crazy where the guy gets drunk and <laughs> will steal anything. Yeah, but, don't you know. don't incriminate yourself. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just a story. <laughs> They're gonna find. To you. be honest with you, um, you put me on the spot here. I can't really. I think I do, but. I just forgot everything. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Um, no problem. I'll come back to it if I remember one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, that was me when I was trying to think of my stories. I couldn't remember anything. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, did you have like, like a bad story, like an actual like one that you keep trouble for? Oh me? Um, well, anybody. <laughs> oh. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, like a. I, don't think so. I think I feel like you have something. <laughs> you said get in trouble for something. Yeah, you know, like like a story that you can tell that is a bit risky to tell. Uh, let me see. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. I was like five. Okay. Mm. Okay. So, wait, where are you guys from? Like currently in America. Uh uh me and tenzo um, are in america lion is south, south africa, africa. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay so pretty much i was like five or six yeah i picked up a cat okay and i threw it at a chained <laughs> up hound oh my god oh. <laughs> wow wow yeah because i um. i thought they were gonna play together. <laughs> But uh, yeah, once that happened, the neighbors, because it was a neighbor's cat. Mm. Oh, <laughs> so I ran to a car and locked myself inside. Jeez. Right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Until my granddad oh. just gave me a beating. Yeah, pretty much. What? <laughs> that's yeah. what happened. Yeah, that's, that's rough, man. Yeah, that is rough. I mean, the cat survived. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. But, yeah. Yeah. I <laughs> oh that that reminds me i actually do have one story i hope i hope my mom never watches this episode <laughs> but <laughs> but uh basically when me and my sister were younger we used to like get food or whatever and we lived in like this house and uh when we were younger we lived in this house with like our uncles and our grandma it was like a lot of our family lived there and basically we would get food and if it was something we didn't like 
we would uh there was a house next to us that was like uh it was empty nobody lived there so basically what we would do <laughs> is we would take like plastic bags put the food <laughs> inside the bags and just throw them in the backyard of the next house and just Ooh. like leave them there and i don't know if they were ever found or if the house was like ever like <laughs> like like redone and they just found bags of like rotten food <laughs> in the back in the backyard but yeah if they did that was us <laughs> hey, um, you're the princess mom walk up the stairs <laughs> what did you do <laughs> oh my gosh bro no way <laughs> i'll just end the podcast have a have a good have a good rest of the episode guys <laughs> We'll keep it like uh, Princess Mom beat him on stream. <laughs> on stream. <laughs> oh my gosh, that would be Wait, rough. How long have you guys been doing YouTube for? Uh, two years. Two years. Mm. Uh, yeah. A little over, uh, a little over a year, I think, for me. Mm. <laughs> I've been doing for eight years. Jeez. Sorry, how how long? <laughs> eight years. <laughs> Well, oh, okay. well, this is his second channel. He had a, he had another one. Well, no, is this oh, the same well, channel? Well, well, have? Um, no, no. To be well, fair, it's okay. like Danes probably. Well, to be fair, I didn't even know that. Like, even if he did have another channel, I think that I thought that would have been like 2018 or something. Eight years. That's crazy. Yeah, I've been doing eight years. 2015. Yeah, that's insane. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. Insane. I mean, <laughs> yeah. if we're talking like how long I've been making videos. Uh, I, I I have like a lot of videos that I haven't posted, <laughs> just like yeah. videos I made as a kid. Uh, I've been making uh, them for like uh, years, so that's mm -hmm. probably like where my most of my experience with like videos and stuff come from. So yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think I think I've been making videos for a, a little over a year. I'm honestly not really sure. It's either a little over a year or. Uh, two years at this point because I don't remember the first uh, yeah. whether the first time I uploaded was like 2021 <laughs> or 2020 <laughs> uh, mm. so yeah yeah I mean, you upload schedule I think it's a bit difficult to remember when you upload <laughs> <laughs> exactly I mean this is the first video we're talking about so I wouldn't remember it like immediately oh, yeah. but I remember mine it was like Minecraft on like PS2 <laughs> PS2 <laughs> oh, yeah <laughs> You guys remember PSP? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. that went hard. I remember that. Yeah, man, I love PSP. I, I used to go to like my aunt's house all the time, and her brother had like just a bunch of games, like PS3, like a uh, he had like a PSP and like some DSs. We would go over there all the time and just play. Like it was mm. great, honestly. It, it was truly next level. Yeah, I had like GTA, and you could play online. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, that was on her <laughs> <laughs> at the time yeah that was mm. crazy oh that that does um remind me i actually thought of an idea for a podcast episode but mm. we would have to find somebody but um it's okay yeah because basically my thing is i was gonna think of like um because i don't know what you guys played when you guys were younger but i was thinking we could like find somebody and me, I had like a like in the generation of like Xbox 360, PlayStation. I had an Xbox mm. 360, so I was thinking we could yeah. like, I don't know if you one of you guys played PS3. We could get somebody to talk about that side of things, and then find somebody who played Wii, and find like oh, someone well, to talk I, about that. I played, I played like all of the things. Like, mm. <laughs> like I was a big, well, I still am. I'm like very big into gaming. Mm. So, right. Like, right. Yes. And I, yeah, I definitely remember like call, especially when the PS3 and Xbox 360 were a thing. Call of Duty was like at its peak there, like yeah, like and what and it was good. Like nowadays, it's like the laughing stock of video game. But I remember yeah. back in the day when they actually did come out with good games, that was like the thing to talk about, like. Yeah, like you know, I got a nuke at Modern Warfare Two. Oh yeah, can't really prove it. <laughs> True. Just like exaggerating. Oh, yeah. The one, uh, the one thing that was uh questionable about it was uh, the you know the live chats. <laughs> oh, bro, that would yeah. be the best. Yeah, um, that's still a thing. Like, <laughs> I, I think the difference is it's it, 
is like Xbox 360. It's like a grown man talking to a child. <clears throat> now it's just like grown men talking to each other. <laughs> uh, I mean, it was def. I feel like it was definitely more like rough in the past. I feel because like people would just. <laughs> Oh my gosh! People will just straight up. Be there like, was no limit. There was there was no rule. Exactly. There was no rule on, on Call of Duty. Like, like you could literally say like the most offensive things, and mm. it would <laughs> still be somehow the most tamest thing you've heard that day. <laughs> Man, like back in the day, bro. I'm telling you, they would talk about your mom. They would be racist oh, and bro. stuff. It was yeah. crazy. I, that's what I do. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, it's. It's great. It was crazy back then. Yeah. It was funny. Now looking back, like I know it, it seems offensive, but you gotta. It was pretty funny, like just hearing, <laughs> like the randomest stuff. Yeah. They they tell you how they had your IP address and how they how they were gonna oh, yeah. find you, send somebody to house to your house or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, oh, I'll come fuck your mom. Or... <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh exactly man exactly i mean it's, it's like when i play call of duty we play on like south african servers so a lot of people like they go they can say anything <laughs> like bro like they're so racist yeah. <laughs> oh man yeah that that was a pretty rough time people i feel like today with uh <laughs> if that if all that would have happened today man it would not be like it would not blow over well yeah but yeah, yeah. cancelled instantly <laughs> yeah, there, there's still yeah. some toxic toxicity but it's like tamer than it used to be yeah, yeah. uh that's no fun yeah, yeah. I, I remember I, there was still funny uh clip I, it was like a short some guy put uh have have a great day in Warzone. Everyone's just like, screw you. Go kill yourself. And I'm like, oh, oh my God. Oh, <laughs> and I'm like, yep, that's COD, but you know, yeah, <laughs> that's, it could have been worse. <laughs> <laughs> this does, uh, uh, make, this does make me want to ask you guys something. Have you guys ever like gotten like a hate message in like a video game that you've played? Yeah, Ooh. all the time. I, I think everyone has. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, so surprise you guys might find this surprising, but for me, I've only had it done to me like one time. Like oh, and well I've I've gotten I've gotten trash talked, but I've actually only had like a message sent to oh, me. Oh like, load shedding's happening. Okay, Ryan's out. Oh <laughs> he'll be back soon. <laughs> yeah. Right. He'll be on his phone. <laughs> but um yeah, for me it I've I've like I've gotten trash talked on like through Mike, but I've only ever gotten sent one message, and that was like in twenty back in twenty eighteen, when uh, mm -hmm. Jump Force came out, and I played that like a lot. Like I was on like ranked and stuff, and basically the thing with that is a lot of people who played it remember that it was really easy to s just spam techniques and like attacks and stuff. So mm -hmm. basically, when it came to that, you would have to find a way around it, and basically I did that back to the person. And he messages me like, oh my gosh, you're, you're so bad. Like, he wasn't the one spamming in the first place. And he's like, oh, rematch me. And I'm like, nah, I'm good. And then he gets so mad. It was hilarious, man. Like, mm -hmm. if I can find the messages, I'll I'll put it somewhere. But that was hilarious. Now, I think one thing that sucks about me is I play with my family. And you'd be surprised. <laughs> like, everyone hates <laughs> it's like It's like we all love each other. And then the moment we play a game, it's like, man what the heck were you doing there dude like <laughs> you messed up like why are you here why are you playing with us it's all your fault and it's like man we were just nice 10 minutes ago we lost and now it's like <laughs> yeah i did something and disgraced the family <laughs> <laughs> yeah man it's it's crazy how some games can just like break relationships <laughs> mm. yeah 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 that line, like, your your quality oh, went went down. How bad is it? Oh, it's bad. Um, it's you sound, forty <laughs> Literally, you sound like you're in your bathroom. But uh, were you gonna say something? Uh, power analysis. About them. Me? Um, yeah. No. Oh, I thought I thought you were gonna say something. I I thought I interrupted you. No, no, don't worry. But yeah, honestly, man, it's like 
you, you you just reminded me of something anime bro when you said that like people uh like <laughs> how they'll be playing with you one moment and then it's like um like the next it's like oh you run it because I, I feel like that just puts a lot of pressure on you because back in the day when i used to play fortnite it's like you just <laughs> like when you especially when you get to like the end of the end of the match and like it's like just any battle royale in general really it's yeah. like things come down to you and if you you know that if you mess up then everybody's gonna be on your back like oh you messed up it's like man that's the that's the reason why games like that i i'm like really like i get sweaty <laughs> like I'm, I'm really nervous when i when it comes yeah. to those games because it's like if you mess up at all then everybody's gonna be on your back yeah but everyone else died so you know <laughs> true. pretty much you yeah you beat them already so yeah true. Don't worry. Yeah. Well, well, if it comes to battle royale, it's more of like how many kills did you get? Like, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. If you if you're the last one standing, but you got zero kills, <laughs> yeah, honestly, I would be yelling at you too. Be like, what the heck were you doing? You got no kills. You were the last one alive. What's going on, oh, man? Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Just carry somebody all the way through the game. Yeah, I can see that honestly. <laughs> man, but I feel like. Yeah, yeah. I feel like um, recently I have, I've been on the opposite end of the spectrum. I've been carrying people pretty hard. Um, I've been pre- uh, playing Rocket League recently, and uh, I pretty much had <laughs> all the all the scores in the game. But uh, yeah, I I don't know if that's just because I'm like I, I don't know naturally good at the game or something, or because I've been gone for like a year. I haven't played Rocket League for like a year, and somehow I did that. But yeah, I I don't know competitive games. They they always get me nervous because I feel the need to just perform as like as good or on equal with whoever I'm playing with, so I'm not like just being carried or anything. You must have put in like a ton of hours, no? Uh, honestly, I feel like maybe I. It's just because I, I I'm not like a like super pro at the game to have like put like to have like done that well in the game when I did, but oh, right. it's just that like I don't know maybe I was like lucky that day. But I feel like I'm just naturally like good at it. Like I'm good at like the controls and everything. I'm I honestly couldn't tell you how, but how I do, do it. Do you but, play yeah. PC or console? Uh, I I play console. I I actually like uh I have two. Well, technically two consoles. It's not really a console, but I have a PlayStation and I have a Nintendo Switch Lite. Not the actual Nintendo Switch, just a handheld one. But um, that's where I started like playing Rocket League again and. That's where I, I did it, but I downloaded it on my PlayStation because Rocket League surprisingly takes up a lot of space. Like it, it literally took up all the space on my Switch. Just that one game. I realized yeah, when isn't I didn't it an it. ever updating game? Updating games always take a lot. Like I remember, COD was like in place, especially on during like PlayStation Four. That was like the biggest game ever. If you downloaded Call of Duty, that was it. <laughs> that was your game. Yeah, <laughs> you better. It was like a hundred or something gigabytes, and it's like, come on, it's one game, but it's like taking almost all my mem- memory. I can't even play like other. They, they try to get rid of their competitors. Yeah, exactly. And it's like uh, another thing. I feel like it's like you, cause I I had to get like um like a one terabyte hard drive, cause the pl- the PlayStation doesn't like come with that much space. It says it comes with like five hundred gigabytes, but like a lot of that is already taken up by like the software that's already in it. So yeah, when it comes to like the bigger games, like I literally wasn't able to have any more than like four games up until like a couple months, cause I asked I asked for uh, I asked for one for like Christmas, <laughs> cause I usually don't ask for anything for Christmas unless it's something I need, and I'm like, yeah, I only have like four games on here. I have like I have like and I don't even play them that often. I have like Genshin and like God of War, and Nier, and I literally don't have anything else on there. <laughs> but mm-hmm. yeah, it takes these games like take up like the live updating games always take up like a lot of space there was What's, uh, like your favorite childhood game oh favorite childhood game that's a good question you, you can world go first oh world of warcraft i was warcraft. i was big mmo kid like honestly when it comes to video games mmos are definitely the ones you do not want to have <laughs> your time stuck on because you every time you do something you realize oh there's something else can mm. do 
I, I spent so much time on that game where I was like, I I, don't, I did a lot of things that, like I I got a, like a lot of reputations, got them exalted, got I collected so many mounts, doing like gold farming, and I was like, yeah, this is. It, what sucks is like at, when you get end game, you have to do it with people. Yeah. And I I. I, and I only play with my family. My family's actually a pretty big gaming family. Like, my dad, especially. Like, new games that he wants to try out, I try out with him. Mm. Like, he was, like, the first guy who I knew who played Call of Duty. And, like... And honestly, that was my dad's big thing, was... <laughs> the... Was gaming. Like, he... Like, he didn't even, like... He wasn't the guy who was, like, you should go... He was, Well, I mean, he was, like, you should go outside, but... It, it would be more like you should go outside and uh, get get some sunrise while my dad's inside just playing Call of Duty trying to get KD up. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. That, 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 that was literally my 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 dad loved video games, so I guess my love for video games came with him. And one of the games that I used to play with him was WoW. Mm. And honestly, when it comes to MMOs, it's definitely especially when a guy is. And I addicted, but really into an MMO. Mm. Um, you definitely don't want to mess anything up, like especially during like boss fights and stuff. You have to stay at this position because if you don't, then you'll die. You have to, Mac, like you have to do certain things and stuff like that. Yeah. It was very <laughs> time consuming. Like I, I even got like this one rare mount where you had to like go to different locations, solve some puzzles, and then eventually, like, the, like, there's one puzzle where you had to actually make a map just to see where you're going and find out, like, where each turn was. And Jeez. I was like, yeah, I, I did a lot of thing. I put a lot of effort into that game. More than I do, more than I do YouTube, honestly. <laughs> it's like that, <laughs> it was that. It, not important, but like that big to me when I was a kid. Yeah. And, and yeah, wow, it was definitely my game I was putting time into. Hmm. Nice, nice. Yeah. For for me, I would say um, I was definitely like big on like a lot of uh, Nintendo DS games. Surprisingly, because I, <laughs> the thing about me is that I don't really like uh, Nintendo just because. They're like very like strict with the way they manage their games and um like just I, I don't know like they're they're also very expensive like they never drop their prices but i feel like that's just how they've always been but for me uh surprisingly despite that i still grew up like playing mostly like nintendo ds games and so th those were like mainly like my main childhood games were like pokemon and stuff like that and i really i really love those games mm -hmm. and um <clears throat> i would like play them on ds and stuff i had I started with uh, Pokemon Diamond, and then I got, I think I rented, uh, this is pretty ancient, I, I'm pretty sure you guys will remember, <laughs> but I, I rented Pokemon Platinum from Blo uh, from Blockbuster. and. Uh, <laughs> oh, dang, I remember Blockbuster, <laughs> that is, oh, and Lion left again, I don't know why this time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Lion's having some trouble, but yeah blockbuster that that right there was like i used to always go there just rent games i rented pokemon uh platinum from there i rented like a lot of movies from there i love blockbuster but uh i, I wish i wish they brought it back but Hello. yeah hey <laughs> they, they still have blockbuster just you know it's only one place in the entire oh, world it's a, it's a quality fine uh what'd you say <laughs> oh he's like a quality fine it, we can hear you just you know the quality is bad yeah i mean that's that's fine i mean it's yeah you know, it's not big deal. it's fine yeah it's no big deal yeah i mean this, this is how like yeah. call sound on the radio in, in the mornings and stuff but uh what was i saying oh yeah pokemon like i basically got like uh i started with uh pokemon diamond i got pokemon uh Pokemon Platinum from Blockbuster and since like Blockbuster had like a rent uh like a like a due date I had to beat it like really quickly uh but I managed to do that in like a couple days 
Um, then I played Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Pokemon Ranger. I had I played like a lot of them when I was um. Oh wow, you were a big Pokemon guy. Yeah, pretty pretty big Pokemon guy. Um, those were the I, like. I the was movies. a Yu-Gi-Oh guy. I loved Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, I I I watched some Yu-Gi-Oh, but I wasn't super into it. But um, yeah, I was mostly like Pokemon, and then I had like the cards and stuff and everything, but. As far as like other childhood games, I also like a had like a PS2 that uh, I got um, like passed down to me, and on that I played like uh, geez, what <laughs> there are a lot of games I just played on. I played like a lot of arc arcade games on there, a lot of racing games. Uh, I had Need for Speed Most Wanted, I think it was called. Um, I had Sonic Unleashed. Uh, <laughs> Ah, uh, Devil May Cry, <laughs> you and Lion, and we all know the story of that. I got too scared to play it, so <laughs> just returned it. But um, <clears throat> yeah, I pl I played a lot of stuff in my childhood, but I was mostly like a <clears throat> surprisingly like a <laughs> my voice is dying. <laughs> <clears throat> I was yeah, mostly like um, so. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I need to get some water or something. But I was mostly like um, Nintendo, PlayStation kind of guy, and then later on. Uh, like I got an Xbox 360, but yeah. What What about you, Line? Line? Hey, can you hear us? Jeez. <laughs> um... What? Uh, child, you... childhood games. Childhood memories, yeah, of games, I guess. Oh, childhood games. Um, yeah. uh, I don't really know. I can't. Oh, Rayman. I played a lot of Rayman. Hmm. I heard about that, but I never uh, actually played it. Was it was it good? <laughs> oh my gosh, Lion, can you hear us? Uh, <laughs> Bro, this man is going through it right now. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, shit, thing is. Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> mm. Uh, where uh, was was Rayman good? Uh, what are you what are you saying? Uh, was was Rayman good? You said that's what you played, or <laughs> um. At the time, uh, well, yeah, yeah, that was one of the games. Yeah, I mean, at the time it was good, but now I I don't know so much about that one. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, well, well I played on Xbox 360. There's one zombie game I played. I think it was Left 4 Dead. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, I I, I, <laughs> love, I love Left 4 Dead. That was. Fun. Yeah, that was yeah. great. I always put friendly fire yeah, on, yeah. and then I would just kill. <laughs> right before we get to the safe area, I would just kill the guy. <laughs> Be like, "Yeah, I made it," and then just see him slowly die. Yeah. He's so funny. <laughs> Be like, "Dude, what the heck?" And it's like, <laughs> "It's fine. I'm, yeah. I made it. We'll, we'll be fine. You know, you could slowly die." Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I love that game. I yeah, played I it a little bit. Games. I love CS:GO. <laughs> oh, CS:GO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used to play that yeah. a little. Yeah, it was it was pretty fun, honestly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, what what about yeah, you, Pro? Back then. Do you uh, have any like childhood games? I'd say anything to do with money or growing an empire. I was interested <laughs> oh. in. <laughs> so like. Oh. Oh, you play Sue? You play Sue? <laughs> yeah. Who? Who? What? Civilization? Sid Myers? No, I've never heard of that. No. <laughs> oh, you haven't played Civil Wars? Damn. Uh, that, that's like, definitely that's literally like, growing an empire. <laughs> oh right. <laughs> no, like um, Monopoly. Mm. Uh, I'd say GTA. Stuff mm. that oh makes you gain money and then you have to like improve and beat the opponent, like FIFA or NBA oh. 2K. Mm. Then. Oh. I, I was building empires and money and whatever in the game, but then one day I just looked around like, okay, I'm building stuff here, but nothing is changing in the real world. So that's when I just dropped games completely. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, that's... Uh... This man just gave a deep speech over here. Give <laughs> <laughs> true. Yeah, it's like it's like that uh that one meme <laughs> like uh I I forget it actually never <laughs> never mind I'm, I I forgot what it was but yeah I think that's kind of a uh, kind of like what anime bro was saying honestly like I was gonna say that um, well see that's why I call you thirty years old bro you keep forgetting 
<laughs> real, this man. Real, this man. I was, well, I, yeah, I, you, you made me forget what I was just going to say. Okay, no, I, I remember what I was going to say, but, uh, yeah, that kind of brings me to, like, what Anime Bro was talking about, like, with the whole, um, like, RPG thing, um, or, or M- MMORPG specifically. It's, like, those types of games are, like, um, more focused on just, like, constant, like, just constant improvement, like a never-ending grind, and those, like, really take up a lot of time, but... I'm, do, I'm yeah. yeah, I'm kind of conflicted cuz like I've I've never really been into any uh, I guess like uh, I don't I don't know if I've been into any that I would actually consider like an RPG but I'm I'm considering getting into like uh like someone's like a uh, Final Fantasy and Final uh, or, or Fantasy Star Online but I at the same time I really don't want to cuz they just seem like productivity ruiners and stuff like that so but uh, I guess that that brings me to like one one last question I had with the whole game thing I was thinking about. Uh, do you guys remember uh, like what your uh, first console game was? It was like some Harry Potter shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I think I think I've seen. Because it came with like the bundle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. the bundle. <laughs> yeah. Pretty yeah. Much. Yeah. I think I think I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. I I think my first console was the GameCube. So I'm trying to remember. I think it was Mario Kart. Definitely, I remember playing a lot of Mario Kart. Mm, Mario Kart. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. This... I also had a Harry Potter game too. <laughs> I, I don't know if it came with the bundle with <laughs> the GameCube, but I also did have a Harry Potter game too. So. <laughs> yeah. Um. For was me... it good though? <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Oh was... no, I was little <laughs> when I had it. I, I probably thought it was cool, but if, if I played it back now, I might have a different opinion on it. <laughs> so, three sixty p and everything. Yeah. Yeah. How about you, Tensor? Yeah. For me, <laughs> it's pretty funny, but it wasn't even like an actual like game game. It was my first console game was Tetris. <laughs> like it, it. It was just like on like the like because i went to somebody's house and my first game that i played was like on ps2 and they just had tetris and they had other games but that was just the game they decided to let me play and it was like a decent but obviously not the best thing because it's, it's just tetris, <laughs> tetris but yeah um i also had like this um what was it? Tetris. Is that like the block game? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the block game. I I know it sounds like I'm ancient. I knew you guys were gonna laugh, but it, no, no, the, Tetris is fun. I like playing Tetris. Yeah, it just happens to be like the the console version of the of the game that I played or whatever. Like it was the first game I played, but I guess like first actual like game game that I played was uh, like a I think it was um. What's that one movie? It was like a Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, it was like a PS2 mm-hmm. game, and uh, mm-hmm. I played it. But I actually, I never actually like got <laughs> past the the intro, so <laughs> I didn't actually play it. Were you gonna say something? Yeah, I, I mean, bro. I I guess we can move on since we technically are an anime <laughs> podcast. Nah, I mean we can talk about our stuff. Well, I, let's move it to anime. Since... Bro, we spoke about anti for the episode. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I was I was gonna say this man wants to just keep exposing me, like calling me thirty and saying I watch like VTubers in my basement or something. <laughs> but bro, you do watch VTubers. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro, I do, but like I don't, bro. You make it seem like I'm like thirty years old, <laughs> and that's all I do. Like I, I don't like I spend all my time not making videos, and I just like get like have like vtuber uh what's that word paraphernalia plastered on my walls <laughs> on the walls of my no, no, basement I, 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 I swear you have that oh, I don't know what you, <laughs> you told me, you told me. <laughs> Bro, I, I i do i do have anime figures but i don't have any vtuber stuff you know i don't i don't have that stuff this man has like a VTuber figure, he just looks at me the skirt like hey. <laughs> Oh my gosh, bro. Bro, I just have a, like a whole VTuber uh, statue just sitting in the corner of my room. But yeah, nah. Bro, this man has like a life size statue. <laughs> bro, honestly, I, I think I've seen a video of somebody that has that. I'm like, how do you spend that much money on something like that? I, I could oh, never. Wow. But uh, 
what yeah what what do you what exactly do you guys oh wait, were you saying something lion no i'm just walking up and down my house <laughs> no <laughs> yeah i was gonna say because uh between you and anime, anime bro you, you you like anime bro wanted to talk about anime and you said you wanted to talk about something else i mean i mean if you ask me talk about whatever. that's basically yeah it was supposed to be lion's birthday episode true true because because but you know he's been having problems so <laughs> i don't know i guess i guess lion what do you want to talk about what do you want to talk about you bring up a topic and we'll talk about it yeah bro i don't i mean listen what i want to talk about is something that you guys are I don't, oh, I don't really know what to talk about, you know? Okay, okay, I mean, then, then we'll go to plan B. Okay, I'll since Power now <laughs> that you're our guest, we'll talk about you. Uh, let's talk about you now, since yeah. you're our guest. Wait, hold on, hold on. Wait, is it is it Lion's birthday? It was, a week ago. Yeah. We, totally yeah. forgot. we were supposed to have you You're last great, week. Well, happy birthday, man. Yeah. yeah. It, late yeah. birthday. Yeah, late. Very, very late. Very late. Though. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's it, it's fine. Don't worry. I guess I guess since we do have you as a guest, we we could well, probably just like well, before we before we get to power analysis, I just want to say, <laughs> I I kind I dread I kind of dread uh when we have to do your uh birthday episode anime bro, <laughs> because I know <laughs> you're gonna be like you're gonna go crazy. Like for me, I know that I was pretty chill on what I wanted to talk about for my birthday, but you. You're gonna be like, okay, let's. You're gonna be like, let's talk about token lore and Persona Five and <laughs> and all that extra stuff. That's gonna be like a four-hour episode, man. <laughs> Easily. Probably, probably. We'll just have to wait. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. We can get on to power analysis. I just want to say how you scared I am. Since it's my birthday, let's talk about something I can get us cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> wait, what'd you say? Yeah, yeah. What'd you say, Lion? Uh, what- we're trying to get cancelled. He says he wants bomb, to get cancelled. I said at one point we should, well, we should talk about something that can get us cancelled. Mm. Okay. Oh well, let's let's ask Power yes. Analysis if he's fine Good with that. Idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, like, it depends on what you mean. Like, cancelled as in bad. I mean, it's good for or... you, since <laughs> you, you'll get like a huge audience. You'll attract an audience. Yeah. <laughs> True. But, yeah up to you i guess yeah i mean yeah you, you know what you know what? since lion's talking about it you know why don't you lead by example like mm. well let's do it like i'm fine with telling stories i have no <laughs> <laughs> yeah well if you mean stories i don't really have any that are bad because yeah I've, well, I've been what a story because i'm a, i'm a i live in not really a religious, but you know, I'm I'm a good Christian boy. I've, I've been good all my life. <laughs> yeah. So I don't I don't. So technically, yeah. that would be a terrible episode for me because I have nothing. I can't contribute to anything. Yeah. I mean, like as far as like stories that'll get you canceled, I'm I feel like I'm the same. I don't really have any stories that will flat out get me canceled. I do have some things, but well, it, they're more like things that. Just, yeah. <laughs> no, I was just gonna say, I do have some things, but they're more like things that I'm gonna take to the grave with me <laughs> instead of things that 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 I'm you know gonna get canceled over. So I'm just not gonna tell those stories. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure everybody has stories like that that you j- j- just like refuse to tell under any circumstances. Like, I can't tell this. Like, I have some stories I can tell. I mean, I haven't killed anybody. I just <laughs> I just want to specify that. <laughs> But, but yeah, I've done some pretty crazy stuff. Do you really live in Florida, <laughs> or are you just live somewhere else? <laughs> oh my gosh, part of a uh, Texas crime crime syndicate. <laughs> oh my are gosh. you really going to college, or are you That's taking out a dead body? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dead body. All these seven months that he spends not not posting on YouTube, he's he's getting rid of the bodies that are in his closet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But yeah, I'm I'm surprised you have stories like that, Lion. Honestly, that could actually like get you canceled, like in real life. No, honestly, in a year knowing the guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the Christmas the the Christmas one was pretty crazy, but like, 
it wasn't like cancel worthy. It's just like you know shenanigans, but like I don't know. I mean, you can elaborate on that, I guess, Lion. Maybe I have a better idea of what gets us canceled or stories yeah, that Lion. we can. How many them. people have you killed? How many bodies are you in your closet <laughs> right now? Hmm? How many bodies are in your closet, man? Twenty. <laughs> Twenty. That's his, that's his name. Animal scouts. <laughs> 20 odd bodies. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> 20 odd bodies. There we go. YouTube 20, name. <laughs> 20 odd body count. <laughs> Man. Yeah, that's. I, I, I like when it comes to like when I said like stories that can get us canceled. I mean, like. I think you meant opinions, right? No, he said stories. Yeah. Oh, stories. I mean, I think opinions would yeah, still be pretty guess, cool. Yeah. So it's, it, it's like stories that can get us cancelled. Hmm. I mean, oh, so, okay, so, I, I have, like, a little bit of both. It's more like a, like a, like an opinion slash story. I already told you guys about it, but I don't know, like, just to use, for example, like, to, like, get a better understanding of what you're talking about. Like, would you, like, compare, like, that one story about when I said, like, I got in, like, that argument with the soccer stands on Twitter? Like, like something like that? Oh. Or, uh, or real life? I mean, like, when I said, like, controversial, or, like, uh, yeah, well, just, like, stories that are, like, something you, you normally not tell someone. I would like to hear real stories. Mm. Okay, okay, I, I think. I, I, think I, I was once stopped by a cop when I was, like, five. Oh, yeah. Why? I, I, <laughs> so okay, so it, it, I actually haven't told this story until I was like sixteen, <laughs> but like no one knew this, not in my family. So when I was five, I used to run away or run away from home, and my parents wouldn't do anything. So one mm. time when I ran away from home, a cop car came by. <laughs> <laughs> and to be honest, I was like, as a five year old, I was freaking out. Like, holy crap, what are they gonna do? What's, what's going on? It's not, it's, it's, I was just like a little kid, and like, cop car comes by, they see me, and then they like, like, they go past, and then they reverse back at, to me, and they're like, hey, what are you doing? And I was like, I'm running away. From, I actually said I was running away from home. Like I was actually being honest. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and um, it was like, oh okay, okay. And then they just left. And for like the longest time, I was freaking out. Like, are they gonna come get me? <laughs> <laughs> and like, did I do something wrong? <laughs> and, and like, for to be honest, I haven't. And like I said, I I had this for a long time. Like no one knew it. My parents didn't know about this. Like, I I kept this a secret for like a long time. Like, and then I turned sixteen. And I was like, ah, nothing bad happened. I'll tell my mom. <laughs> and like, well, she wasn't. She was shocked, but it was like. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, as a five-year-old, that was like probably the scariest thing in my life. Was like when a cop car stopped by, <laughs> just telling me what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, Jeez, that's crazy, bro. When you said the cop stopped you when you were five, I was like, wow, what did this man do for for a cop to stop this man at five years old? He stole old candy from the shop. <laughs> Literally. Um, I was gonna say, I feel like. That's a that's a good one. I don't feel like it's cancel worthy, but it definitely is a, an, an interesting story. I have one. I yeah. feel like, no, don't like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have one. I feel like, I. But the thing is, this was a long time ago. So, and I was a kid, so I don't think it'll get me canceled yeah. now. But <laughs> basically, I used to like. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro! I don't even want to say this, but basically, because I feel like people are gonna blow it out of proportion, but. It's, I was a kid, so that's that's it. But yeah. I used to get I used to get in fights with my sister, like literal fist fights with my sister, and okay. yeah. And P, I feel like that's something I get canceled How old for. Was she? she she was a she's she's actually like old. She's my big sister, so she's like a year a year older than me. But oh, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, because like I feel like that's one thing I'd probably get canceled for if anything, because you know it's a boy hitting a girl, but like. We were kids, and we would do it like when our parents weren't around. So, <laughs> like I, I would never. It, it was either we would do it when our parents were weren't around, or I would do it. I would engage, 
<laughs> when 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 our parents weren't around, so I wouldn't get in trouble or something. But I would like we would literally get in like fist fights, like like on some like Big Mom versus Kaido type stuff from One Piece. <laughs> like we would literally like fight so hard and. Like, I think even my uncles have stories about that, how they would, like, walk around the corner and just, like, <laughs> hear us, like, like one of us would, like, be beating on each other's back, and it would sound like a literal drum, and they would just sit there and watch, <laughs> like, watch us fight, and it was, like, man, like, we would, like, we would get in fights all the time. It was, it was crazy, but, yeah. I was, I was, I was a kid. I wouldn't, I wouldn't hit a girl, <laughs> you know. Any, like, horrible yeah. injuries? surprisingly no like we would uh. and it's crazy because we would fight in like the craziest circumstances like i would <laughs> there's this one time i think she annoyed me or something and then i like hit her i, like, I sucker punched her <laughs> and while she was carrying like a mug or something and surprisingly she didn't drop it and then she put it down and started Wait. fighting me and <laughs> there was another time when we were fighting on the bed like like <laughs> like power literal power slams and stuff so like i think that was somehow like went to the floor this sounds so weird but <laughs> but it somehow went to the floor and like yeah we didn't get hurt somehow but yeah it was yeah never had any injuries so surprisingly mm. but um that's good yeah th it does it does bring me to one story um nobody knows this about me but uh it's it's less of a canceling story but another story with me and my sister like we were like like peas in a pod we were like super close and we like like played together a lot but when i was really when when i was really young she did something to me and for the rest of my life people would like question me because like question me on something they thought that i had a piercing and i'd be like no i don't have a piercing why do you think that and it's because i have like this hole on my ear or whatever and i didn't remember until like a couple years ago um <laughs> they told me a story where basically my sister when i was young used like a needle to like give me a piercing like she was really young as well so she didn't know what she was doing and mm. once once they told me that story i like specifically recall the sharp pain <laughs> from her trying to do that to me and I, since i'm younger than her she tried to do it when i was like like really really small and i don't I know am. man it was like since then like the hole is still there <laughs> and people are always asking me hey do you have do you have earrings i'm like no i don't like why why are you asking that and like you have a hole in your ear i'm like oh I, that's just always been there i don't know what it is and i didn't know until like last year mm. but yeah oh, that's interesting yeah that's the one injury that happened between us and <laughs> she caused it to me but yeah before you said the story i thought it was going to be some incest shit Oh no! Absolutely <laughs> not! <laughs> absolutely not, bro! Absolutely, that would actually started, get me canceled. You started off like, so my sister did something. To <laughs> my sister. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that that. Okay, yeah, no, that does actually sound like some crazy stuff. That, cause like that that actually you actually remind me of one extra thing. It's not gonna be that long, but it's funny because she's she's like she's older than me now, so she moved out or whatever, and. <laughs> It's funny because she always, like, calls my mom to talk to her. And my mom is always, like, she always calls my mom, like, oh, I have to tell you something. And she's always, like, oh, do not tell me you're pregnant. <laughs> like, like she's oh, always no. so, like, so worried about that. That that's going to be, like, the first words to come out of her mouth. She's like, no. And from now on, when she calls her, she's like, she has to preface the whole thing by saying, okay, I want to start by saying I'm not pregnant. <laughs> that's <laughs> just just to let you know. And then continues the rest of the conversation. But yeah it's pretty pretty some some pretty funny memories between us i don't know if that would get me canceled since you know i'm just a kid i was just a kid or whatever but who knows maybe i'll log yeah. on to twitter <laughs> and someone will be like this yeah. guy used to hit his hit girls when he was younger but yeah nah nah i think you're fine yeah yeah but uh so, what about so you i guess the only one getting canceled is lion i mean like he already told us the story about uh him stealing uh, honestly, stealing whatever it seems like. Okay, he left. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, this man. Oh, oh <laughs> he left again. Yeah. yeah, that that man lying. <laughs> he is has some wild stories, man. I feel like we're never gonna be able to like get on the same level as what he, <laughs> the stories he has to tell. Mm. Oh, yeah. What What about you, <laughs> analysis? You have any any crazy stories? I don't know if I should be saying this. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> well, you're a if guest. You... We'll just leave it out. We'll just leave it out. If, if you don't you'll, want us you'll to. You'll leave it out. Okay. Yeah. Um, actually, I don't know if this will get me I mean, if, or not. I mean, you'll, you'll have to tell if you want to. It's, it's up to you. Completely. I mean, like, unless you literally, like, crash your car into a building. Oh uh, I think you're fine. <laughs> I mean, that's 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 still like, I mean, depending if anybody was killed, <laughs> depending if anybody was killed, that's still better than what happened with me. Honestly, like, yeah, you don't have okay. to, you don't have to say it if you don't want to. It's a, it's completely up to you. Okay, no, nah, no, nah, I won't say it. Just in <laughs> oh, case. Yeah. Cool, cool. Just... All right, you, you heard you heard here for <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> yeah, yeah. some stories you can't tell, but yeah. I mean, since Lion's gone, <laughs> I don't know what to do now. Oh, uh, we can, uh, well, we could just talk about, uh, power. It was supposed to be Lion's birthday, kind of didn't even do an intro, really, so, uh, mm, yeah. I don't know how this is going to play out, but <clears throat> I, I guess we'll get into you, power, so. We can do an intro now. <laughs> Not true. Yeah, we, yeah, we could. Just cut yeah. it back. Yeah, true. Yeah. <laughs> Got like okay. 58 minutes into the video. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I, I guess I'll do it. I'll do it since I'm talking. Yeah. Um, hello, everybody. This is the Enemy Bro here. <laughs> and welcome to another Radio Trigger podcast. I'm with Tenza and Lion. Mm -hmm. What's up? What's up? Oh, he's not here, but... <laughs> he's not here. <laughs> Well, I mean, if we're gonna play this like in, normal, you weren't supposed to say that. I mean, but... <laughs> it's in the, I mean, it, it, it's the continuity is weird either way because like, it's it start it we're, like where we are right now. He's not here, but this is technically the future. But in the past, he was here, so it's it's a it's yeah, it's weird. Some attack on start uh, attack on Titan. <laughs> yeah, Literally, it's man. complicated. <laughs> some complicated stuff, but yeah. Anime but anyway, you're the best at that. You're gonna have to explain the timeline of this whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll. Should I just restart the intro, or should I just continue from here? Yeah, you can continue. I mean, people. It's we're gonna, they're gonna know anyway. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Lion's yeah, so, yeah. So Lion's low chatting right now. He was on his phone, um, but. But he's having technical problems. Technical problems. So. Yeah. But that's that. But in 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 the viewer in the viewer's future and our past, he's he's still there. So, so if that makes any sense, so he he's okay, gonna. Well, be... <laughs> well, this is gonna be Lion's problem. Okay, <laughs> this is gonna be his problem. So I'll just restart it. There, oh we'll just God. restart it so that. Okay, so hello everybody. This is the Anime Bro here, and welcome to another episode of the Radio Trigger Podcast. I am with my co-hosts, Twenty Odd Lion and Tenza Shinra what's up what's up um I, I'm yeah not... and yeah go go on go on yeah and uh we are here with our guest the power analysis yo 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 <laughs> yeah. good afternoon <laughs> yeah and before we start uh just uh please like share and subscribe and also subscribe to our channels uh, we make great content and hopefully we can grow this channel as well and yeah. yeah, let's get into it. Links and everything. All right, there we go. In the description. <laughs> you, yeah. You hear it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, All right, there we go. There, there's our intro. <laughs> I feel like it's uh, okay. No, I, I see what you're trying to do now. I see what you're trying to do, but yeah it's still gonna be a little weird uh, i feel like lion's gonna have a really hard time <laughs> editing all this because he's gonna be the one doing it yeah yeah but anyway since since we got that out of the way we we are anime fans, right? We are all anime fans. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm okay. Uh, <laughs> um I kind of want to say um like to kind of segue, like I do we we are going to talk about just like um more tame stuff, but just to kind of make it like a smoother segue. Um do you guys have any like anime hot takes that like um you guys have or anything? Oh, really? No. Mm. What about you guys? Uh, well, I know Anime Bro had a really crazy one last. Uh, what was it last week? Uh, yeah, but honestly, I just like to see the reaction of Naruto fans. 
And I got it. Tenza was has fallen <laughs> into an anime bro trap. <laughs> oh my gosh. And so did all the people who commented, but yeah, exactly. It got us views, kind of. Not really. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> do, do you want to repeat it here so Analysis can hear it? Or do you want to uh, say I another? I said Boruto was better than Naruto. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there we go. Another one fell from my trap. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. I'm so oh magic. God. Yeah. He genuinely thinks that. And if you go back and watch the episode from last week, me and uh, Yume, who was the guest for that episode... We were just like, bro, because Lion was <laughs> just like, no. He, it, it, he it was it funny out. reactions. It, it was funny reactions. I don't really care about either one. I'm like, they're not even my top 10. Yeah. So I just like. I mean, I, like, even without them being your top 10, it's actually insane to me how you prefer Boruto over Naruto. It's just like. Uh, I don't know, man. And then, and then your your reasoning was like all over the place. Like you, I think you said, um, like you said that uh, it was like, what what do you say? Um, you liked Boruto as a character more, or something. I, I you, you said a okay, bunch of crazy well, okay, stuff. Okay, okay. Well, for one thing, I do like Boruto as a character over Naruto. And my my thing isn't like there's so, like honestly, you know, I could tell like a lot of people have good reasons storytelling wise, but. The reason why I like Boruto is most Boruto as a character was he seemed a bit more intelligent than Naruto because Naruto seemed to just do whatever he was he wanted to do most of the series and in terms of anime characters I don't like that because it's like you're just doing it because you f think it, it feels right with at least Boruto it seemed like some thought went into his actions no. When he did things, but <laughs> he cheated in the tuning exams. <laughs> did did that thought go into that or emotion? Okay, well, okay. Let's look, <laughs> let's. If you want to put it that way, everyone talks about that. That's one event that happened, and there, and it's there's a lot more Boruto. One thing I also like is he, how he came up with a uh, his own. I, one part I liked about Boruto was when he came up with his own Rasengan, uh, the compressed Rasengan, and because mm. to me, like even even though even though it may seem different to other people, like I, I saw it that Naruto's uh, Nine Tail was giving him some help, even mm. though I don't, I don't I don't know what people. Think. Like, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm not even put real yeah. thought into it. Yeah, you, I, I don't really care. <laughs> you didn't even, you didn't even remember the continuity of the whole thing because <laughs> you said yeah, that. Yeah, that, that, that kind of shows how much I didn't care when I didn't put <laughs> thought into it and just said it. Exa exactly, like, and that's and that's the main reason why we're like, how exactly do you like Boruto more? Because if you watch Naruto and put thought into it, then you can see why it's better. But like, it's the fact that you. This, this is the crazy thing that had me, like, actually, like, going crazy. You said that we didn't know about, like, the Nine Tails, and it was literally in, like, episode one. <laughs> and I was just like, how do you <laughs> how do you forget about that? But, eh, I don't know. But I'll, I'll respect it. It's just crazy to me that, you know, you think that. I just love the reaction people give, out, like Tenza did. And... Yeah. <laughs> uh, that does make... That, I do want to bring... Uh, like uh, I want to bring back something. It's like a real throwback argument that we used to have all the time. Uh, do you, uh, Do you watch one uh, One Piece Power Analysis? No. <laughs> uh, okay. Never okay. gonna watch it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're never gonna watch it. <laughs> never. Yeah, that's 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 fine. That's fine. It's very. Yeah. Right. Understand. What have you guys watched it? Yeah. I read it. I'm uh, caught up all the way. Yeah. A I've... thousand episodes. My. <laughs> Yeah, it's. I don't want to sound like. I already know you know what I'm going to say. I don't want to sound like everybody else. <laughs> but it does get, like, good. Like, when you. <laughs> when you start, like, getting getting into it. Because the beginning. Like episodes in. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah, honestly, I'm, the thing about One Piece is, like, it's a very long journey, but the intro. The. Um intro or the setup is like a hundred chapters long so <laughs> yeah like i feel like because the thing about the intro like in in retrospect when you look back 
there's like way more good in one piece than actual bad like so because i went back the other day to like um look into some research for like a video and i realized that any's lobby which is literally one of the best arcs in the entire thing was only at episode 200 and everything like a, a, like the last a couple arcs before that and everything after that was actually like really good like there were only like a couple bad arcs after that so it's like in terms of like the intro it only lasts like like it doesn't last that long and then you have like hundreds of episodes of like really good stuff so i don't know i i feel like it's i don't know it's 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 an iffy thing like i understand if anybody doesn't want to get into it just because of the length because that in of itself like made me not want to start it so it's understandable why did you start it then uh i started it just because like i heard really good things about like it's just like like when i heard oh yeah it was really good and like i already watched other like part like the other two of the big three it's just like oh i guess i should just get into this and like when i started it like the intro i'm i'm one of the type of people that can like get past an intro despite like being really bad i i don't know what it is it's just i can get like through it without really that much difficulty and i was able to get through uh the east blue arc which is like the first basically intro introduction to everything them gathering like the immediate crew of uh the pirate uh the pirate crew that they make and everything and yeah. once i got past that it was pretty good like alabasta was good skype was good like any's lobby just everything and they like i, I don't want to sound like a I don't sound like a fanboy, but I feel like they were right, like just about it being good and everything, like how it gets better, and mm-hmm. uh, like after all, like all the recommendations and stuff, I just uh, it was easier to like swallow, I guess you could say. Uh, no, dude, don't watch it. You're better off reading. <laughs> <laughs> Watching it, you're yeah, you're you're gonna literally hate the series if you actually watch it. You're better no. off just reading it so that. No, yeah. I don't. I don't think so. It's it's well, just the first the first couple arcs will be good, but the pacing gets worse later. So, I, I'd say like watch at first if you do intend on getting into it. But you said you're never gonna watch it. But, um, yeah. But if you ever do consider like I'd say watch the the beginning because I'm pretty sure you could vouch for this anime, bro. The beginning the, uh, what was it? The pacing is pretty good. And even if like, the pacing gets worse later on, you're at least binging it, so you don't have to sit through the yeah. same like pacing problems because right now they're like <laughs> oh my gosh they're like doing one <laughs> one episode uh, one chapter per episode and it like they could have gotten to like well i don't want to spoil but they could have gotten to some crazy crazy parts by now but um mm-hmm. yeah for me the anime i don't know it was pretty good um like it was easy to just get through especially since i was binging it i it took like i want to say like a, a little over uh probably a little over um a little close to two years but the thing with that is that i was taking breaks in between and watching other anime so i probably could have caught up like way faster than that but mm-hmm. yeah if it was if if i just binged the whole thing and didn't watch anything else i think it probably been more like just a little over a year but yeah i took like some really long breaks from it so i caught up when i was i used to watch anime only and i caught up when they were escaping Whole Cake Island, and oh. that took like. Sorry I, I took a, I took, I took a break, but yeah, it was a long, like. Yeah, I've, I, I, th- I was only watching. I was just watching that for a long time, and that was like six months. I, I, I say. Yeah. So. <clears throat> wasn't too bad yeah i feel like um <clears throat> i feel like a lot of the breaks that um or, or i feel like a lot of the people that watch one piece would say that they just take breaks because i feel like there's no way you can sit through like hundreds of episodes like that um one of the breaks i actually took was <laughs> to help you with your video anime pro the uh the anime of the year thing because um oh yeah I had to like stop watching One Piece for a bit to actually just like um, watch some of the series that came out that year to help uh, like or to get some opinions on like some of the anime that came out. Yeah, Yeah, I think it's pretty unrealistic to just binge the entire thing unless like that's literally the only thing you're watching or the only thing you want to watch. Like at the time, 
um, I think Jujutsu Kaisen was airing and I was still catching up to One Piece and I obviously wanted to watch that. I wanted to watch um, like Demon Slayer, just a lot of the things that were coming out. So I did take some breaks here and there, but if I could just binge yeah. it all the way through, I definitely would have finished faster. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Does it not get boring for you? Uh, at, at some well, parts, yeah. Well, think about One Piece, and if you, like, like, think about One Piece, is, especially how long it is, you have to remember, like, oh yeah, this happened in... Because it does take, for some reveals, it takes so long. Yeah. Like, one reveal happened in, like, episode three, and you would literally have to watch, like, 500 or so <laughs> chapters to understand, like, oh, that's what that was. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, they, like, they they even, like, <clears throat> that one uh, foresh foreshadowing that I just found out recently, or a couple months ago, I guess, but uh, was in, like, the third, or in, like, the introduction saga, where they were in, like, the third arc or whatever, where they were recru uh, recruiting Nami, uh, their navigator, uh, basically there was uh, they uh, foreshadowed somebody that was revealed like way later you you, you know anime bro uh, Jin, uh, Jinbei oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, and I didn't realize that until like way later like I like I, I, I look back on that I was watching a video and like oh yeah they foreshadowed this way back and it's just like wow but I mean as far yeah. as getting as far as getting like bored uh like for the series which, which i guess it doesn't which actually helps with it because then it's like oh wait this was revealed like some time ago or, yeah right? so it and it, it, it really depends like the thing about one piece and i think a lot of people the w battles are actually not that good like compared to the whole story the battles are usually the slow there are some battles that are good because of like reasons there are very few battles that um I like the battles, but it's just more of like it is nothing compared to like what the whole story is about. Mm. Like, yeah, true. In fact, in fact, it's like they they actually some guy did like uh, like they showed how arcs go in One Piece, and people say like when an arc is bad, it's usually during the fight scenes, and it's not that the arc is bad it's just right now you're at like the worst part of the arc where you have to watch a fight and especially like in a manga where like one fight can last like 10 chapters it, it gets really boring because it's like or especially when you have to deal with multiple fights which one piece does a lot it does get boring but afterwards then it starts building up to yeah like the next arc oh this is like there's more building and here's also some things you have to learn about the next island and then it gets into that and then it gets into fights again and then and then it builds up to the next one then you get to fight it's it's a it's like a like a cycle basically of yeah. one piece yeah like as like that's a good point actually as far as like getting bored i was gonna say i don't really know because it's, it's kind of hard to like gauge when i'm just like watching it and like it's just like it's a good anime pretty much like enjoyable but after you said like the whole thing about the fights uh, i realized like as far as the fights go they can get a little boring but it's mostly just because of the structure of the fights because i feel like um like my favorite fight in uh one piece for example or one of my favorite fights is um <clears throat> uh katakuri versus luffy and that's because it's not like a Aww. traditional it's not like a traditional fight where it's just like, oh yeah, you know, two guys punching each other because one wants to beat the other or something like that. It's like there's actually like, um, like some deeper like aspects to it. Like for the uh, the thing with Luffy, for example, there is that it wasn't like a heated like good versus evil type thing, or you know, he didn't hate uh, Katakuri or anything, and Katakuri didn't hate him. It's just that like he had to surpass Katakuri because like he's on um, Katakuri is only like a commander and um like obviously there are way bigger way stronger people and basically luffy not really wanting to give up the entire fight is what gave him the win he didn't technically win because katakuri could still stand but he just took the loss because he kind of lost to luffy in terms of like uh, i don't know like guts i guess you could say but mm -hmm. uh that's why that's one of my favorite okay with, with that fight 
Yeah, honestly, read the manga. That was too long. <laughs> that so, <laughs> will it? So I don't know if you know this. That is now the world record for the longest fight in an anime. Twenty-one <laughs> episodes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, and it, yeah. I watched this live. Actually, <laughs> I was waiting. I saw like uh, I was in. I started the, the fight started in February. I don't remember the year, but the fight ended in July. <laughs> I was like, we finally got to the end of this fight, and now we can finish the arc. <laughs> yeah, because it was like, come on. Yeah, <laughs> That's actually insane. I'm not gonna lie. Twenty one. <laughs> yeah, yeah twenty one episodes, world record. Yeah, that yeah, it was easy for me to get through because it was just I was just binging it, you know, but like. I don't know. The The one thing that got me through that fight was the whole, like, ideology behind it all. But, yeah, if I was just paying attention to it just for the fight, I <laughs> I wouldn't have made it through, man. Like, but, yeah, I mean, it, it can get boring, like, when it's just a regular fight, I guess. But when it has, like, a greater, like, meaning behind it, then, I don't know, I feel like it's more fun. For example, right now, uh, like, Kaido versus Luffy is, like, the uh, best fight that's going on right now. But in terms of all the other fights... Those are pretty much just happening because they're supporting uh, their captain in the whole thing, and there's not really anything behind it. Whereas Luffy's doing it because he wants to help the samurai and he wants to free the land of Wano and everything else. But yeah, that's where most yeah. of it goes, and the fights can be pretty boring. It's just like, oh yeah, I have to surpass you to help my captain and blah blah blah. But it can get boring at points, but it's all it's pretty fun to go through, you know. Yeah. But yeah, um, the whole reason I actually even brought up One Piece to begin with is just because we had this argument. Yeah, we have this argument. argument um, who would be who would win in a fight, or yeah. Hime or Usopp? <laughs> I'm sticking down with Usopp. I don't care what you oh people think. Usopp will definitely win, but and... we won't get into it because Power Analysis doesn't know who Usopp is. Yet. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah, I feel like if he if he did, he would say he would say or Hime for sure. It's just I don't know. There's no way. Like okay, okay, just based off just based off this, right? I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure he'll he'll agree with it just based off this. But Usopp is basically the weak link uh the weak link of the Straw Hats, their crew or whatever in One Piece. And mm -hmm. uh you know Orihime, right, from Bleach or do you watch Bleach? Me? No. Yeah. Oh you don't uh, <laughs> So he knows neither of these guys. So he can't okay, really but I can I can still I can still the example I could I can still make it, alright? So you're you're putting a bias by I'm not saying, I'm oh. not putting bias. It's literally just facts. All right, listen listen to my example because you're you're gonna okay. you're gonna agree too. So the Usopp Usopp is just Usopp, right? He, um, like he's he's had some good fights, but they're it, they make it very clear within the show that there are only things that he there are things that only he can do, and he plays his own role within the crew, and that that crew or that role is basically acting as a sniper. He's good at long range combat. And that's about it. He's not good close range. He doesn't really have anything else. And that's about it. With Orihime, right? And Usopp has never done anything this crazy. She literally defended against... And she's more of a defense type character. She doesn't... She has attacks and whatever. But she doesn't really use them. But we can like argue that they like scale to her defense or whatever. But uh, basically, she defended against attacks from literally the final villain the strongest guy in the entire show and he's like able to destroy the world so <laughs> so okay okay my thing okay, is well yeah then the okay, last one well, okay exactly. let's put it this way if we want to put it this way orime is a here airhead and usopp can literally snipe he has he uses a slingshot and he can literally snipe people further than actual snipers but what is that gonna do against the shield? Or him that can't blocks. Think. So that how can blocks. she the shield if she can't think? <laughs> oh my God. But what is that gonna do against the shield that blocks against like, like attacks if that strong? If you can't strong? think, how do you put up your shield? What do you? <laughs> oh my God! That is such he a bad distance. argument. He has distance, range. If that... you can't see your opponent, then you're kind of screwed. They, you know, because the... you can't. Bro, what do you the... mean by she doesn't have a brain or he doesn't have a brain? She's exactly. an okay, in the show, she does. She's literally the character that is like. Oh my gosh, bro! Like this <laughs> positive of everything, but just doesn't know how. Like she is very dumb. That's, that's not. That's, that's not even in terms of fights, though. That's just like 
her personality. That's her person. That's her person- so-, hey, so that doesn't apply to fights. Like you can say yeah. the same thing for Luffy, right? Luffy is a dumb character, but he's very battle smart, right? So you, she's you would not agree battle with that. smart. She, but she's not battle. She- <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Oh my gosh. Okay, you can argue that she's not like. She doesn't use, like, she doesn't rely on smarts in battle, but that doesn't mean, like, she can't, you know what I'm saying? It's just that with her fighting style, she mostly heals people and defends people. There's not really much to put behind that, you know what I'm saying? And even then, she was still able to develop, like, new moves where she, it's kind of like a counterattack where if you hit the shield, it kind of gets reflected back to you. So it's like, the, her fighting style doesn't require, like, super, like, a super big brain to think or anything so i don't know man like it, and and it's and that's another thing you said that she wouldn't be able to see usopp but even back in like episode 200 when he was miles away on top of the uh what was it the tower of justice in any's lobby yeah they were still able to see him from that far away and no they, were they reg- said they, they were regular they no they could no they could but and they they i literally watched the clip the other day <laughs> and they were like Oh, someone's on the on the top of the Tower of Justice. They didn't know it was Usopp, and they couldn't like see him clearly, but they knew he was up there because that's where the shots were coming from. So if they could do that, yeah, and so, or so he no, makes so, so they weren't so they weren't seeing him. They just knew where the shots were. You can know and, where something's coming from. Doesn't mean you could see okay, what and, was actually shooting. Okay, and or he has uh, consent spiritual pressure. So you're telling me that she wouldn't know he was there. <laughs> okay. Okay, how what's the distance of this thing? Oh my god. That's pretty far. <laughs> Stabus can shoot pretty far, dude. So Bro, she has his shield. <laughs> she can block it. Alright, alright, alright. It... <laughs> alright, who who do you agree with analysis? Who who do you agree with right now? Which what are you leaning more towards? Well, I, I honestly <laughs> have no clue, but um I would just say both <laughs> no <Yeah>. man <laughs> okay okay because I, I haven't watched it so I, I i honestly have you know no opinion about it yeah pretty much. that's fair that's fair oh man I, I feel like anime bro is misconstruing things he's like <laughs> he's being biased <laughs> but i'm You're being biased okay I'm... <laughs> you look you're being biased too okay i swear even if, if i am biased it it, it is I, I think or I mean no 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 not her Usopp would win because the range like range has things and also like he has hockey that he doesn't which, know how to use it you can only have like one okay first of all in like the terms of one piece technically he's only learned how to use it for like like two days so he has some time to improve one piece is not over yet and so there is some growth he might have grow to actually um be able to use hockey so at some point in the future there probably will be but honestly it i still stuck with usopp he has range and knowing it or he i don't know i got okay i i haven't watched bleach i need to know if like there's actual battles or he may fought and actually won because i'm remembering her losing a lot of battles she does, i don't she's... even remember her being in any battles so okay la- last thing because i don't want to stay on this too long <laughs> but what battles exactly do you do you remember her losing well i don't actually remember being in any oh, i don't gosh. remember <laughs> okay so okay that's that and you okay Okay, I'm not going to stay on this too much longer, but I just want to say that that is literally contradictory because you said that there's no bias in this, but you can't remember any fight that Orihime has been, and I can remember every fight that Usopp has been in. <laughs> so so how is that not bias? Well, I... I okay, look. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, okay, first of all, we're both being biased because I'm, we I'm, are both stands. I'm, yes, yes, dude, I'm, you're a bleach guy through and through. Okay, bro. I okay. I, I'm I'm putting I'm put. Okay, I would probably need to look this up more because I'm still sticking with Usopp because he, even though you have all this stuff, it's like it's kind of like she, she has the power, but can she? Re- 
I, I need to actually see her actually know how she uses it. Because with Usopp, he knows how to use everything he has. And I know that for sure. He does some crazy stuff. But with Bleach, I haven't watched that in a long time. <laughs> like, it was like before even it was announced that they were doing the Thousand Year Blood War art. Mm. So, I see. it was a long time ago when I watched Bleach. I see, I see. Well, well, with One Piece, you probably have... I don't know what your thing is, but I'm with just... One Piece, you probably watched it a lot more recently than I have with Bleach. Yeah. All right. This is the last thing I want to say, because <laughs> we do need to move on. But I, I literally cannot be biased with this, because, and I don't know if you know this, one Piece is literally my second favorite anime. <laughs> so I'm putting my first favorite anime against my second favorite anime. So <laughs> it doesn't make any sense how I'd be biased. Especially when I know like everything that's happened. But if you want to believe that I'm biased, that's fine. Because I'll admit that you know there are some One Piece characters that beat some, ble uh, some Bleach characters. But it's just that I don't think from seeing both of them from a perspective of like taking both of them in that Orihime would logically lose to Usopp. That's just me. But I don't know. I, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it more later. We have to like have a whole stream dedicated yeah. to this because honestly, we could talk about it for like years. But um, I do want to move on t to something more power analysis related because like, I feel like we, <laughs> we've we just been hogging it with One Piece. We don't really, he doesn't really know about it. But yeah, um, the one thing that we did talk about uh uh, with uh, someone who does similar content is um, uh, Ayano Koji. Uh, I know you you do like a lot of that, so I don't know. Is it is it a good like uh, a good? Cause I know everybody who watches that they tell me that it's a, like a a good a good show and everything. So mm -hmm. I want to know a little bit a little more about that. What about Classroom of the Elite? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's a, it's a decent show, if you compared it with Attack on Titan or Chainsaw Man, you wouldn't necessarily say it's on that type of level. So I would say it's kind of decent. The light novels are a lot better. Mm. Season one is, oh, it's good, and season two is, meh. You know. Yeah. Season three is releasing this year, but. Yeah, it's definitely not like the best anime you'll ever watch or anything like that. It's just like decent, really. <laughs> mm. I I can see that. I can see that. Um, I don't know. For some people, I feel like some people are like you, and they say, "Oh yeah, it's decent," and then some people just like preach nonstop about it. I have a couple friends that are just like, "We have to get this man on the agenda, no matter what." <laughs> like just on the classroom of the elite agenda, but. Um, like, do you like those kind of uh, anime? Like, is that like one of your favorite genres? Like the more, uh, like less action oriented, I guess you could say, like something like that. I enjoy animes that strike emotion. Mm. Mm. Like Tokyo Ghoul, for example. It's not like the best anime, but the emotional side of it, like the soundtrack, um, the soundtrack is probably like the best. Yeah, yeah, I love it. <laughs> in my it. opinion, like when you listen to it, you just get this nostalgia again. Yeah, and yeah. So th there's like your favorite animes, and then there's the animes that strike the most emotions for me. Mm. The reason, so yeah, pretty much the psychological anime type of stuff. It it's I enjoy it, but it's not my favorite genre. Mm. I I pretty much just look at the plot. So like Attack on Titan, one of the best animes probably I've ever watched. And Chainsaw Man, I mean, that's just released recently. I know a lot of people would say, oh, you can't say it's the best anime, but the animations are out of this world pretty much. Never seen anything like it. Mm -hmm. And the plot is pretty good as well. So I, I would say I'd put those in the top two. Mm. And then Tokyo Ghoul is more on the emotional side yeah yeah pretty much okay nice nice yeah i feel like um a lot of the more uh i guess you could say uh critically written or critically acclaimed uh 
just uh, more anime that are just known for their writing than anything and how good they are, like, in terms of that area, just are better at, like, striking emotion and stuff like that. That's mm -hmm. why, like, a lot of the ones, like, for me, I have, like, uh, I know it's pretty weird for a lot of people, but I have two different top fives or two different uh, ways of ranking anime and uh, different top fives within that, those ways. And basically, I have one that I enjoy just for, like, enjoyment. So basically, it just has to be something that I can turn my brain off and enjoy uh, and, you know, just something, something that I can just relax and watch and it doesn't have to be super deep, but I can still enjoy it. And um, I also have ones that I enjoy for like writing. And those are, I feel the ones that uh, have a lot more like emotion behind them just cause like in, when you, when it comes to like these anime that have better writing, I feel like that's one of the big things to be able to like draw emotion out of whoever is actually like watching the show. And I feel like mm -hmm. a lot of the more better written ones that are less shonen -y, I guess you could say, less battle shonen -y, are like yeah, really good yeah, at yeah, that. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I think there's one that I watch, uh, or I've been watching recently. Uh, it's called Two Year Eternity, and that recently broke my uh, top five uh, for for writing, and it was really, it's really, really good. Oh, really? Like, yeah, it's mm. it's incredible. It has good writing. I, like just the concept of it. Like I plan on making a video on it, but like basically to sum up my um, why I like it so much, it's just like, it's basically, it's basically like starting from absolute nothing like it, it makes a story out of nothing if that's like I, I don't it's the best way to understand it is just to literally just watch it but it literally starts from nothing basically it starts with this one guy and uh i, I don't want to spoil anything but he starts as like an orb and he lives for like years and years and years and he just gathers experiences and goes from place to place and with a story like that as like um just like very straight into the point uh, with how it goes from everywhere it's like you have all these emotional encounters and situations that happen in his life and it's really good like honestly like up there with it might like take over like my top one at some point in the future and my top like for writing it, like f some of my favorite ones are like attack on titan and cold yas and those are like really good so yeah yeah, yeah. wait did that recently release or is uh, it an old uh yeah it, the anime recently released it came out in um season one came out in i think last year uh, uh oh. around yeah around like july or something if i'm not mistaken i'm not completely sure when it came out but uh season two is airing right now but i'm pretty sure the manga came out like um pr uh probably a little a little later than that or a little earlier um but yeah it's, it's still pretty new so there's a, a lot they can like still get into but it's i don't think it's if i'm not mistaken the manga isn't done yet so they still have a lot to cover in it and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I really like uh, the more writing based or uh, writing based ones because they kind of like bring out emotion, like you said. It's really good. Mm -hmm. But what about you, anime bro? Do you, uh, what do you think? <clears throat> My favorite story couldn't care less what the animation looks like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's actually a good. Uh, a uh, good topic because like I I see a lot of people. <clears throat> would you Would you say, um, Power? Would you say uh, that uh, you can enjoy an anime even if it has like bad animation? Like if it just has a good story, that's all you really need. Uh, I mm, maybe I would disagree with that just a tiny bit. Mm. It's like. It's like watching a YouTube video with a great script, but horrible video editing and horrible oh. quali audio quality. It's like listening to a rap song or just <laughs> any musical song. The yeah. production being great and the lyrics are just trash or the other way around. Mm. The lyrics are absolutely incredible, but the production is terrible. Like, I just can't immerse myself in that yeah. stuff, if you know what I mean. I think with music it's different though. If the production, I think it's mostly production because a lot of songs, a lot. I know a lot of artists actually make fun of the fact that people aren't paying attention to the lyrics. Like, uh, hey y'all, even though it's an upbringing song, apparently its message is mostly like, like, even in the lyrics it says like, I know you're not paying it. 
I don't know the lyrics exactly, but <laughs> one of it is like, I know you're not paying attention to these lyrics. Like, I'm literally ah, just talking. That's it. So it's really, so honestly, it's production. Not, not, I don't think it's really weird. Maybe people might say lyrics, but in reality, it's the production. If it sounds good, people are mm-hmm. going to like it. Hmm. They don't really care about, because, like, I, I, I just know that because I look up, like, lyr- what lyrics mean by some st- songs and stuff. Hmm. And that one actually got me by surprise. I was like, oh, that actually, he actually making a point and he actually did it in this song. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I can actually see that. Like, I, I feel like I'm in the in the middle kind of. It's it's a little weird for me because I, I do agree. Yeah, it, like if you have like really good um, animation, but the story is bad, then, you know, it's uh, like it's probably not going to be good. But same thing the other way around. You can have really good story but if the animation's bad it's kind of hard to enjoy but um i feel like it's still a little uneven just in terms of the fan base not in terms of myself but i feel like people will take a show with a story that's not really good and having animation is all they really need um uh it's actually another video that i'm gonna make but it's kind of like a thing of story versus art (laughs) now you're seeing what lion was talking about when i said i have all these video ideas but Mm-hmm. yeah it's a it's this thing of like story versus art where it's kind of just like um like i feel like pictures attract people more than actual like stories and stuff like that just the composition and everything colors it's like it attracts people to um like actually see it and watch it and whatever that's why people right. can like see a fight a really good fight and be like oh i think i'm gonna watch this anime or see a scene uh that looks really good and say oh i'm gonna watch this and i feel like it's more that people will watch something uh like demon slayer for example it doesn't have the best story like it's not really good uh or it doesn't have a like it's very simple story so i should rather say but it's still like um it's really good animated and just because of that you know people will watch it i'm, I'm not gonna say that's carried by the animation or anything but because i because i know that people are gonna cancel me for that but um it's still like it's just like you know it's um more i feel like they're more attracted to the animation than anything else and story isn't really a big thing just in terms of the general but i do feel like overall it's more balanced like you kind of have to have like good story and good art to you know make the make the whole thing the whole production good overall but well that's what you need if you want to like blow up pretty much yeah yeah you yeah. can get popular with having one good thing and then the other thing is terrible or the other way around but if you really want to blow up like attack on titan or chainsaw man or whatever whatever other good anime that's popular out there then you need both yeah much. true true yeah i feel like the the only like there's only a few exceptions to where the <laughs> where the anime is able to get like really far just because of one thing or the other like Cold Gas, for example. I mean, Cold Gas has pretty good animation, but I know some people say they don't like the art, how the the slender the characters look and everything. But it's still like, like highly, highly renowned, highly known everywhere and regarded everywhere. So, like as having a really good story. And same for Demon Slayer doesn't really have like the craziest story, but it was st- still able to exceed. So there are some exceptions, but overall, I feel like, yeah, when you look at something like Attack on Titan. And like um, just just some other things, Death Note I feel like as well had really good animation and story. It really comes down to having a balance of the two, pretty much. But yeah. When um, you said bad animation, I thought you meant like Minecraft style or something. Like that. <laughs> oh Minecraft! I mean, yeah, kind of yeah, because like the thing with me. Well, I mean, is Minecraft that... is not bad. I mean... <laughs> oh my god! Like, I'm not not just saying that. I mean, like. I thought you were gonna say something like Berserk 2016 or something. <laughs> I, I was when when I was thinking bad animation, they usually like like you know CGI. So I wasn't thinking like Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like off the top of my head, I just couldn't think of like a one with bad animation. I just said, oh yeah, Cold Geass, because uh, technically mm-hmm. that did you know like uh, it didn't. It had good animation, but the art you know some people don't like it. But I think yeah, Berserk is a better. Um, like it's it's a much better example because it does have a good story like since they're just literally just adapting it um mm-hmm. 
it's it has a good story so <clears throat> they have like the the material that they need it's just that <laughs> the cgi is horrible and the actual like animation that they do is also horrible so it didn't really succeed but yeah now, i think also what doesn't help it is like especially because berserk is well known for its art like if you won't look at a panel from berserk it's like this guy took months just to write this what draw just to draw this one thing while like even though the story may have been adapted properly because it's well known for its art and they just completely butchered it like mm -hmm. this isn't like oh wow they were trying their best it was like what the heck were they doing man like yeah like come on yeah they did they, they did my man dirty <laughs> Yeah, I can I can see that because a big thing with like adaptations a lot of the time is that they want it to be like one to one. They want it to look like the um, exactly like the manga. Like, for example, I know that's why a lot of people like Bleach, just because they do a really good job at like like making making the faces and everything and like the designs as close as possible to the actual thing. But even that messes up sometimes. Like, I know a big thing that like a lot of Bleach fans know is that Kubo didn't really like the anime because they messed a lot of things up and uh one of the things for example is that uh one of the characters rangiku she had blonde hair and they made her have like orange hair they made her redhead in the um in this actual show so it's like yeah it, it it's a it's a little weird like bleach is known for having good animation but in terms of like like actual one-to-one -one, like adapting it as well as it could have been like they're not the best at it but i think that that is a big thing like actually that ad adapting it to look as good as like the manga did and everything oh well I i'm fine with it if they tried their best like i know everyone can't match like the original artwork of certain things so like at least if they make it where it doesn't look exactly good but it looks good for what the people were going for like for example uh i'm a jojo guy and uh, mm. actually no jojo's is horrible because honestly it's i think it's very very hard to mess that up <laughs> that kind of style Okay, I really can't think of anything, but most like most likely, if you can obviously see that they just did it because um, it was going to be a cash grab, then it's like, yeah, they really shouldn't have tried to do this. But if they, if you see like the time and effort they put in to where they were trying their best, like for example, the early Bleach anime adaptation, it's nothing compared to like the original story. But yeah. with what they were trying to do, I think it was actually pretty good. Yeah. With what they had at the time. So it's not a bad adaptation. It's just, you know, when it comes to the manga, it really couldn't compete. Yeah. To yeah. The and and uh, another thing I feel like is, I feel like some people just have unrealistic expectations sometimes just because. Uh, oh, um... like the My Hero Academia <laughs> fit? Man, I saw those memes. <laughs> like. I, I like they did like a side by side and I'm like okay yeah. they they removed this shadow yeah. so why <laughs> <laughs> exactly they can be like really really heavy with that for some some sometimes and it's like uh, that actually makes me want to bring something up but after this uh, but it's like I feel like the expectations are a little bit uh, like weird because uh, you a lot of uh, people have to keep in mind that with animation they're working with like multiple drawings it's not just like a page it's like multiple drawings that are put together to uh you know like make frames and stuff and actually like make the entire episode like go flow uh flow smoothly so there yeah. are going to be some shots um and some some frames that look like a little a little weird you know what i'm saying that don't look like mm -hmm. in the same style of the actual um in the, in the of the actual like manga or anything but that's just like a Sometimes it's like an animation style. Sometimes it's just because they have to work so hard and make so many frames. But just just based off that, it's like the expectations are a little weird. But uh, <laughs> you, you did you did remind me of something with the whole My Hero Academia situation. Uh, one thing that came up recently that I saw as like really weird is when uh, this guy. I'm pretty sure you guys know him. Uh, the anime man. <laughs> uh basically uh. <laughs> yeah he said that chainsaw man's animation was bad and i was like wow <laughs> i i didn't know what to say about it. i still don't know what to say about it because it's like that's this just <laughs> yeah. yeah i don't know i, I don't even care about the show but honestly it's like 
it's good. Like I can watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm enjoying this, and like he's saying it's bad. It's like, dude, you expected um, the berserk artist to come from the grave and <laughs> redo all this? Nah, man. Like it's not worse. We can do worse. We've already reached <laughs> rock bottom before. Okay, it's very impossible to actually try to reattempt that. Yeah. Well, they shouldn't. They shouldn't. That's they shouldn't try to re attempt that. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know if we're wait. You sh- you're talking about like art in terms of like uh, like I don't know if we're on the same page, on it, bro. Like you mean like uh, probably not because I was. I don't know. I don't really watch much anime. Like I do watch, I watch what's popular, and like I watched the first episode of Thousand Year. Yeah. I watched the first episode of Chainsaw Man. I might continue. I don't know. I am busy with my stuff, so yeah. But honestly, what I've seen, they're good. Yeah, I just don't. I guess my mong- manga art's probably definitely different from animation. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because but... with the because he was like, yeah, the animation is just bad, and it was just like, ugh, I, I don't know what kind of take that was. <laughs> was it Twitter or was it like on his channel? It was on his channel. It was a whole video. I I saw the clip from Twitter, but. He he literally said, "Oh yeah, Chainsaw Man animation is bad. It just looks like a bunch of uh, Legos or something." And I was like, "What? What? <laughs> yeah, it was." He's just a hater, man. <laughs> exactly, man. I'm like, wow, man. It's crazy, but it, it's it's crazy how how people hate, man. Like there was this one person, and he's like a big Bleach elitist, and he was talking about Boruto and. They had like anytime they have a good episode, it's like he just comes out. He's like, "Oh, this is this is so trash." What are you guys? <laughs> what are you guys getting so excited over? And it's hilarious, honestly, man. Like the haters in the anime community have me like laughing, like with their takes mm-hmm. and stuff. Yeah, pretty, pretty crazy, pretty crazy. Um, oh, he probably sank because he has CGI. Man, uh, what has CGI? Chainsaw Man. I mean, the CGI is pretty. You can see it. I'm not saying it's bad because CGI, if done well, it looks good. And there are a lot of people who are like, CGI is honestly terrible. And Mm. and I know some cases where CGI is pretty good. Yeah. With reanimation, it is rare for me. Cause, but I did definitely see some CGI in movies and stuff that were amazing and done really well. Mm. Yeah, cause um, the thing the thing with um, cause you said you only watched the first episode of Chainsaw Man, so like mm. the the CGI in the first episode wasn't all that great, but as it continues, it gets better and better, and that's why people are looking at him weird for saying like the animation is weird, cause even when it comes to CGI, like Chainsaw Man was pretty on the mark with it and. I don't know how like you see that because especially with like the last fight there was that was really good and I think it was like mostly CGI, so I think that that was a really weird complaint. And also honestly, that shows actually a, there is a bright side to it because it shows that CGI isn't bad. It's just the people who use it. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. honestly, if they if they use CGI for if they ever do a remake of Berserk stuff they need the people that did this because at least it won't be too bad because whatever they were doing in in 2016 was like they definitely wanted money that was their incentive they they were not looking they were not trying to adapt it faithfully they were like i we can get money and we don't have to put too much money into it mm-hmm. yeah awesome pretty pretty scummy especially when you consider they made like uh what was it um i think there was like a special like uh su- special something for like kentaro mira and it was like a berserk 2016 type thing I-, I i'm not completely sure on whatever that was but yeah i just wish they like did that better but yeah like 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 you said though there like there is cgi in good uh good areas and chainsaw man definitely isn't like one of the bad ones, so it's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, uh, since we've been going for uh, an hour fifty-two, you wanna end it off? And since line's gone and everything. Yeah, I guess. Cool. Yeah. 
Let's uh, let's end it off now. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. I don't know what the title of this episode's going to be cuz a lot of things happened today. Yeah. Uh uh thank you Power for joining us today. No worries. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep, yep. Actually before we go, did you, have you watched JoJo's before? <laughs> oh my gosh. JoJo's? No. Yeah. Okay, never mind. I'm sorry you had to. I'm sorry I was ever here. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. if any... <laughs> it's a joke, man. Thank you for coming here. Yeah. Oh, um, I, I I have a question too. Uh, what, what's? Yeah. I'm surprised we didn't ask this because like, wow, because this is literally like the essential question. But what what's your favorite anime uh, power? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Actually, probably Attack on Titan. Mm, nice taste. That's nice a good taste. choice. That's a, you're not you're not one of those crazy fan. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, because one one thing I make fun of is like how the Attack on Titan fan base is like acting like Attack on Titan's the only good thing on this earth. <laughs> <laughs> He's we're gonna hop off the podcast and get out the call. He's gonna start swaying like, "Geez, they almost found out my secret." <laughs> 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 Vote, vote all Attack on Titan on uh, the Anime Awards. Yeah. But yeah. Well, anyway, well, anyways, um, yeah, if you enjoyed us, uh, please like, share, and subscribe to the Radio Trigger Podcast. And also our um, different channels. Um, and it will be in the link in the description below. And yeah, see you guys later. Peace. Peace.